didn't know there was another costly procedure that was needed to be done to be a plus or minus what i've used on my project this is a rough idea for you to know how much it may cost you Welcome back to another video. My name is Simply Rhoda and this is my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking in today's video. If it's your first time on my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe guys, that would cheer me up. Again, subscribing to my channel is literally free. So guys, do it. Thank you so much in advance. Again, today's video is the video that has been sought with a lot of you on my channel. I've been asked a lot of this question and I just decided to just come down here and share with you the cost of constructing my house in Zimbabwe. Again, the cost of constructing a house comes down to how big is your house with and where it is located. All those are the factors that you should consider when you are about to construct your house. Anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be answering as well as sharing some of the most important information that has been asked a lot by some of you on my uh, channel. I also realized that there are few videos that talk about the costs alone of constructing a house in Zimbabwe. It is difficult, I understand it's difficult to sum up everything and come up with a video. But in today's video, I've done my best to trick every coin that I've spent towards this project to gather everything together to put up this video for you. Guys, I've put an effort this is a big effort i know it was so hard for me to trace every transaction i did but i did because i want to elaborate everything to you since this question has been asked multiple times so in this video i'm going to be answering questions as well as sharing some of the important costs for that i have succumbed to come up to where you see my house I know is. this video is going to be long so what I've done is I'm going to be sharing this course in bits and parts. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the course of their foundation to syllab level. This is the first stage I uh, started to uh, pull up money there, buy material and stuff. I can say this is the part that is dreading to most of us and that is the part that can milk a lot of money out of your pocket. So that's the stage that I am going to be addressing today. In the next video, we'll talk about the wall and the video after that, we talk about the cost for the roofing, you know, of the, the stand, how much I bought it because it's all about the groundwork, right? So let's break the ground, guys. Let's elaborate that. So let's dive in it. My stand costed me about 26,000 US dollars. Anyway, the time I bought it, um, I think at that time it was expensive, but I don't think that's the same price where which you can purchase a stand in the same neighborhood. With. By the way, another question that most of you are always asking me about is the size of the stand as well as the floor uh, size, right? So my stand is a 600 square meters. My house plan is sitting on a 282 square meters i didn't start my project immediately after purchasing of the stand travel restrictions and uh etc etc anyway let's go to it now you can see on the photo that was my first time on the stand because when i purchased the stand i wasn't there but i've gone to the place before buying and then i came back and i was thinking and putting into consideration whether i should buy I or not in my absence so after the stand was bought i didn't know where it was exactly and i was not going to start building without stepping my foot on the stand so that picture you can see there that was a year after i bought my stand i went to survey uh i was also, one thing that pushed me and motivated me was were my neighbors because at that time my neighbors had already completed um, building. 
So it was just like my space was just the one left out in the that line. area where my scent is. I was the only one left out. So which is something that kept on pushing me to start this project. Now, finally, that we had decided to break the ground. That's when we started to incur some cost. But after buying, I just said like that. I was not paying anything for the maintenance of the stand. But after I decided that I was going to start building, there were so many things that were needed to be done uh before we start uh, constructing so the first thing that i did was to find somebody to clear the stand as you can see it was just looking like a jungle the way just it was looking like a jungle anyway so it, the place needed to be cleared and by the way i had to pay somebody to do this job that was the beginning of money leaving my pockets <laughs> you know guys that was the beginning so clearing after clearing oh, both uh, that cabin you are seeing that because we needed a place where we can put uh the things the builders were going to be using and also to store some of the um materials that we purchase uh, ahead of time so we needed a place to keep them safely so i had to buy that cabin you can see there and the price is that just that below i had to buy it although it's not that good looking but we had to buy it there were other things that were required to do before we even start digging the place was required to have a makeshift toilet and uh, we had to pay that amount again for the makeshift toilet to happen then after that everything was all set up now then we went on to the stage where that i've listed on there all these stages that were coming after that were paid for they were not for free they were paid for that's when i was starting to use money each and every day i had to pay money for certain things so the first thing that happened was clearing and then they had to do set out which costed me a whooping 150 dollars um and then after that the guys uh, after setting out that is like measuring and uh, putting like a raft to drop off how the foundation was going to be d dug right so i had to pay for that as well and also they needed an inspector to come and survey and give them a go ahead whether everything was okay the measurements were okay i don't know how important is that but they couldn't dig until the inspector comes and um give them a go ahead and after that they started digging the foundation which costed me also they started digging the foundation and just digging the foundation by the way it was costing i when i got this i had to be given everything with its price so instead you so i know this stage how much it, really it actually made the work lesser and also make me realize whether i was able or ready for it so every stage had its own price as you can see there on the list the foundation was gonna cost me 350 yes that was the money that was needed i mean costing as in the labor cost right so they went on to the foundation after the foundation they needed to do footing this stage was the hardest y'all this stage is the stage that takes a lot of cement so when you hear people or the builders quoting you like 50 bags or 60 bags for this yes that's true because this stage needs a lot of cement it's just literally pouring the cement in there so yes there we the after footing was done it took a lot of cement that costed a lot of money right and after that they had to go on doing the box box right yeah doing the box that's building the box now after they stayed for a week or so for the um for the footing to to dry out a little bit they started doing the the box they they felt it so i was thinking after the box that would mean that a lot of job would be you know completed and then we'll be talking of the syllab i didn't know there was another costly procedure that was needed to be done after the box was completed that is the box filling guys in this stage they need to uh fill it with what they call gravel the gravel was super super expensive i remember i spent more than a thousand i think it was like a thousand four five yeah i think you can check out in the description yes they needed to put gravel which was also expensive and also then they also needed to do compaction right so anyway now let's go to the material that was needed i think on the list we can go together the material that was needed for the foundation alone you can see there was a lot of things that was needed. so expensive i wasn't expecting them to cost that much but anyway 
They did, this and price. it was were including the transportation for these um, stones to be transfer, transported from where they were taking them to the building site. Again, we needed brick force, which is very important in the, when they are doing the, um, the, the foundation. The brick force was needed, the polythene plastic, termite poison, concrete wire mesh. So when I was getting all these things, I was wondering, where do these things go? Of course, this is my second house. I kind of, like, when I built my first house, I feel like I, I wasn't paying much attention like what I'm doing now. My first house, more like I asked my dad to help me, although I was sending money and he was just buying everything that was needed. So I never actually get hold of the uh, required materials and stuff. I only knew how much was needed. So I was just sending him money and the job was just being done and I would just see the photos and edited uh, stages, right? But this one, I'm paying more attention to what's needed and I'm getting all the quotations and stuff like that. So I didn't actually know that the foundation will require so many things and these things are not cheap. These things are quite expensive. So yes, this, I can say this stage really costed me a lot. It really costed me a lot. So like the back filling and compaction. So back filling, like I said, the gravel, the gravel was expensive. Yeah, it was expensive. It costed me over a thousand that is the price you can see that price on the list yes and then after feeling that i thought well that's fine now they can just make the slab they just put the, the cement i little did i know that they actually needed to find a plate compact com, uh, compactor whatever that is used for like uh, making the, the the gravel actually flatten it and also i don't know how i can say it but that humans cannot do they actually need that plate compactor which means we needed to hire it which is money that was needed to pay again and then after that they now went on to the syllab level that is the stage you can see also a lot of cement enter or goes in that stage that means i also had to buy a lot of cement so you find that the syllab alone took more than 100 bags just the i mean just the foundation alone in total took more than 100 bags of cement only for that part and a lot of buying food. water for this project as well as hiring tanks because you need tank for storage right yeah i had to hire which is another business that people are doing they'll buy their um their tanks and also hire these tanks to people who are constructing although it seems like it's less money but they'll charge you like a dollar per day right and uh, to fill up this 1000 liters of with water it will cost you ten dollars for one thousand liters so i don't and uh, i don't know i know what i know is that this stage requires a lot of water because remember when they are doing uh what they call um footing they they need lots of water for footing because they are literally just mixing the the concrete the uh the cement and just pouring in like that and also there is a time they just need to pour water on it to help it dry well without cracking these are some of the things and some of the costs that have been incurred in on that just stage the uh, foundation i mean from buying the stand uh to clearing the stand uh digging the foundation uh filling it buying the the grab the gravel because these are things that i think i feel like they were costly i think on this procedure the thing that costed a lot with the cement um the three quarter stones the gravel uh oh, the bricks i almost forgot that the bricks yes that before i started the the um the digging and stuff like that i made sure that i bought the bricks so my first batch of bricks came first before the oh, all in all i can just say this is what it had costed me that is twelve thousand three twelve thousand three hundred sixty five roughly but a lot of things that were needed there were things that we had to add on after uh they were ran out like the three quarter stones at some stage they were not enough we had to buy and the gravel like why the gravel like like why the rivers and then pizza so some of these things you you have to budget an extra because these are things that may run out and you may be needed or required to buy some as soon as possible so when you are making that budget like i've mentioned in my previous videos um this amount should not be just budgeted according to 
what you have seen on the um, bill discotation, you must always have that little extra to be on the safe side because these are important things that are needed for the work to go. So sometimes you are just called, well, if they are in the middle of the syllab and tell you they need more, there's no way you can say, I'll do it next year or next week or next month because this is a stage that you can't put on hold for that long. So you have to, you know, make plans immediately to make sure that those things are delivered. Now, let me answer some of the questions that have been asked a lot with some of, by some of you in, um, my videos most of you were actually curious i mean the question this is a question that has been asked multiple times and i have tried to answer it but i'm still getting the same question people want to know where this project is where this project is um this project is in rua this is my bazuva estate i'm sure most of you know about it so yes um and uh this is a question from mega say beautiful where in zimbabwe is this this is in harare in mavazuba that is located in rua and um another question i get is yeah lovely which area is this more like the same right it's in rua harare rua and uh, where in harare please mavazuba in rua please oh, somebody knew it I actually it looks like mavazuba in rua yes you were right that's mavazuba in rua yeah you find that most people were curious to know where this project is yes it's in my bazooka you're all right and and then the next one i wrote out i'm grateful for the advice always watch your videos from cape town i'm planning to build my retirement home in eastern cape so girl i needed to hear some of the disadvantages you mentioned okay that was from my previous videos i'm sure if you haven't watched that video you can still find it there are disadvantages and advantages of building your own house you can find this video and also take note of the pointers because it can help you i've had some testimonies under my videos of how people are being helped with some of the advice i'm sharing with you for free again if you are still watching vi this video to this point please and you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button and also smash that like button to support me yeah thank you so much now let's go ahead um i also had another question that you mentioned that you have built two houses now could you please go through actual costing actual costings and full budget of your bills if it's not too much to ask it's not too much to ask but to be honest i can't give that full detailed cost of how much i've spent like right now i don't even remember how much i spend on my first house like i said the first house was constructed like 10 years ago and uh this project was literally being run by my dad um on my behalf i um, i was not paying more much attention to it what i was doing i was just sending money but i'm not really accountable for about how much i spent then on that project but this project i am this is what i'm showing you now to the stage of the foundation that's the foundation to syllab level right and anything else before the foundation this is what this video is all about and um i decided to put this video in pages there it can be easier to understand and easier to follow than give you a full detailed um amount that i've used until where i am right now so this is the first stage of the course so this is video number one we will have video number two in the coming weeks i have to gather all the receipts everything to put everything in detail okay so now let's look at another Courageous woman, congratulations, Rhoda. You have done such a wonderful job. I'm very proud of you, girl. Thank you so much, Pam. I um I feel so excited to be cheered by other women there and other people out there. I feel really happy to know that you are happy for me and you are cheering me. And I need that energy that will help me to know that I'm doing the right thing and I'm on the right path. And I wish also the same to you i hope you can share your good news on my channel soon all right now let's go to the next one hi my dear we are looking for good quality folding doors and aluminium windows who can we approach for your from your experience thank you all right i looked at this um i did answer you i know directly but i also felt like because that is the stage i am right now but i also feel like this 
the prices they are being charged in Zimbabwe are way way higher than the prices I can get them in China because in my next coming videos I'll be talking I'll be sourcing for some finishings for my house back home and I feel like these things I can actually ship them from China to Zimbabwe I'll be sharing with you guys as I go out there to window shop or to shop as I'll be finding some of the things I'll need to have on my house so yes looking at this one I don't really have somebody I recommend concerning these folding doors but i'm sure maybe there are some videos that uh, talk about that but for me there is no one i have found who has who is doing this at the moment but i feel like if you don't mind i'll be sharing my findings in china if you are interested you can email me and we can talk from there okay now the next question i got is thank you for the information i'm looking for a builder in harare okay i have linked the builders conducts as well as the people i've worked with so far i've linked their conducts in my description box so if you are looking for such service you can go in my description box uh don't hesitate to add them call them you can work with them so well and also don't forget again to um take note of the pointers i've said when you are choosing somebody to work with see their work be there for me there is a testimony this is my house that these people have done uh this is my house the builders have built this and i'm so excited everybody who is coming to my um to my stand to my place you know everybody who's coming there is commenting on how the house has come out so nice how the roofing is looking amazing so this is all good news and i can safely safely recommend you to the people i've worked with to the builders i've worked with to the carpenter i've worked with i can safely and happily encourage you to contact them so that they can also do amazing work for your project back home all right i think so far this is the stage and these are the questions i hope you have been answered and this is the stage that i have addressed and uh, in the coming video we'll be talking about the wall that is now the superstructure we'll be talking about the materials that i've used for that the cost the cost of labor and stuff so you can refer again to the list that i put of uh, how much i've used you can see i put there the labor costs the material cost and the rough amount of the money some of the amounts you cannot see them in the things that i'm like detailed in detail but that is the money i use roughly like i said some of the funds i've been using them to buy extra things that were needed that we had run short of so and including the food and other miscellaneous things so overly that is the amount that i've used for my project and i again i want to reiterate on the fact that the cost of the project is determined by the uh, structure that you are going to be built how big is your house where it is its location right and the kind or type of material that you are going to use for that for me these are the type of material that i chose as you know there are always different kinds of different types like if we talk of cement there are different types of cement so according to the cement that i've used in this case i've used super safe. also depends on the size of your floor plan that is my plan so it also depends with that so having the rough idea i think this amount that i'm showing you is just it just gives you a rough idea of how much you can think of how much you can save before you start yours it can be a plus or minus what i've used on my project it, it, it may be more than what i've used on my project so this is a rough idea for you to know how much it may cost you to uh to buy or to start building right so this figure you are seeing is minus the price of my stand i think i'll actually sit down and make a video on how i purchased my stand and the steps i took to purchase the stand 
I think I know some of you are not aware on how or the processes of buying a stand back in Zimbabwe, especially in your absence. So I'm going to sit down and share with you again that part, I know, which is very essential because you may think that you have a stand that doesn't exist and you'll be spending money on something that is not there. So you also need to be careful when you are buying in your absence. Okay, guys, I think I didn't want to make this video very long, but eventually I think it became really long. Anyway, we, we can continue again on another video thank you so much and if you still have other questions you need to know or you may want to know please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section again I would love to hear your feedback I would love to hear what you think and I would also love to have your advice because I'm still building I know some of you you have already completed these stages I'm talking about uh, you have advice some pointers you can also help me with I'd like to know about that in the comment section don't hesitate to hit my comment section write everything you can think will be helpful for me because now I'm looking at finishings and uh, yeah that is another another stage that is hectic you know but anyway I think this one I can take my time and I'll keep you in the know again see you in the next video where we'll be talking about the war so for today it's goodbye for now see you in the next video thank you so much for subscribing and liking the video and watching the video until this right end goodbye